Hey everyone, my name is Mauricio. I'm a partner engineer building messaging payment products for WhatsApp in Brazil. Today I'll give you an overview of payments on WhatsApp business platform, its new features, and walk you through how to integrate payments so you can build interactive commerce flows and collect payments directly within the WhatsApp chat. We'll start with the user experience and then look at how it works under the hood. Payments on WhatsApp allow businesses to drive more sales by engaging customers where conversations are already happening, reducing friction in the checkout process, leveraging familiar, trusted local payment methods like PIX, Boleto, and payment links, confirming transactions and orders in real time, all without switching apps. It's a powerful way to turn conversations into conversions right inside the chat. We are seeing success with partners and early adopter businesses. Tested partners see success in conversions, trust, and retention among early WhatsApp payment adopters. Utility and transportation sectors reported a 15% sale increase and positive ROI. By the boss, observed a 17 rise in repeat purchases within 30 days, enhancing user re-engagement. RioCard improved customer satisfaction by 90% with integrated flows. Let's take a quick look at what the experience actually looks like for the user. Imagine a customer chatting with a bakery called Sandra's Cakes. The customer wants to buy a chocolate cake. Sandra replies with a structured message that includes a product photo, the name, price, and description, and a button to either copy PIX code or pay with payment link. The user taps the copy PIX code button, which copies the code to the clipboard. Then they switch to their banking app and paste the code to pay. Alternatively, they tap pay with payment link, which opens your hosted checkout page in the browser where they can complete the payment. After payment, the business sends a follow-up status update message confirming the order. Payment received, your chocolate cake is on the way. Payments on WhatsApp are integrated into orders. An order is like an invoice or bill you send to your customers to get paid. It includes a list of items, including their name, quantity, and price, the total amount, and the supported payment methods. We currently support the following payment methods. PIX, the instant payment system from Brazil's central bank, payment links, also known as checkout links, and boleto. When the user taps the top of the order bubble, it opens the order details page, which looks like a receipt or invoice showing the full breakdown of the order. In the API, an order is represented by the order details object. Now let's look at the implementation. To send an order, you create an order details payload similar to this example. It includes the total amount and currency, a payment settings array with one object per supported payment method, such as PIX, payment link, or boleto. Each payment settings object contains the data needed to render the payment method. For PIX, you provide the PIX code that will be copied to the clipboard. For payment links, you include the checkout URL that opens in the browser. The order bubble also displays icons for the supported payment methods, giving customers clarity and building trust. One important note, you, the business, are responsible for integrating with a bank or PSP to generate the PIX code, payment link, or boleto. These are generated by your PSP or bank. WhatsApp's role is to deliver them seamlessly inside the chat. Here's the rest of the order details payload used to render the order details page. It includes an array of items, each with name, quantity, and amount, a subtotal that matches the sum of item amounts, and the current status of the order. You initially set the status to pending and later update it, for example, to shipped or complete, using a follow-up API call, which we'll look at next. Once the customer completes the payment, your backend is notified by your bank or PSP, either via webhook or polling, 
confirming that the PIX code or payment link was used. At that point, you send an order status message to update the status of the order and payment. You can update the status to pending, shipped, or complete. You can also include optional body and footer text to provide context or next steps. Beyond user-initiated flows, you can also send orders proactively using template messages. These are pre-approved business-initiated messages that can include a full order details object and optionally a PDF attachment for things like utility bills, invoices, or receipts. Common use cases include customer re-engagement, subscription reminders, bill payments, post-sale follow-ups. We also have the following new features. PIX with App Switch. Before, users had to copy the PIX code and manually switch to their banking app. Now they'll just tap a button and be taken directly into their banking app with the PIX code preloaded. Another exciting feature is one-click payments for returning customers who've saved their payment credentials with you. You're now able to let them pay with a single tap. No link, no card entry, no friction. It's perfect for recurring or high frequency purchases. To summarize, WhatsApp Payments lets you offer local payment methods like PIX, payment links, and Boleto, confirm payments and update order status in real time, reduce friction by keeping the entire journey inside the chat, send orders reactively or proactively using the same API model, and it's all powered by the order details object. To get started, please visit the documentation at developers.facebook.com, choose a PSP or bank to generate PIX or payment links, send your first order details message, handle payment confirmations from your provider, and send order status messages to keep your customers informed. Thanks for joining. With just a few API calls, you can launch a secure, localized payment experience inside WhatsApp, Brazil's most popular messaging app. We can't wait to see what you build. Happy coding and enjoy the rest of Conversations 2025. Hey everyone, my name is Tianyu, a partner engineer building messaging payment products for WhatsApp and Messenger in India and APAC countries for the past seven years. Welcome to our session for payments on WhatsApp business platform. For the session today, I'll share our payment offering for WhatsApp business platform in India. Later, I'll pass to my teammates Mauricio to share about how WhatsApp payment works in Brazil. Since the launch of payment feature for WhatsApp API in Mumbai back in Conversation 2023, we have managed to onboard merchants from different categories to WhatsApp payments to unlock seamless and consistent checkout experience within the app. With customers engaging different businesses and user journeys through the same and smooth payment experience, we are observing good down funnel conversion, which helps to achieve better ROI from both click to WhatsApp and paid messaging ads. Compared to the unstructured payment experience like sending payment links to customers, the enhanced payment experience established good trust and lower fraud concerns for consumers to proceed to payment. It also helps to reduce the operation costs for merchants to drive their desired business outcome. Nama Metro is a rapid transit system serving the city of Bangalore, India. To reduce the waiting time to buy Metro tickets, Nama Metro team up with PayU, our payment provider, and the Yellow, our BSP provider, to develop a self-serve ticketing service on WhatsApp. Without joining the long queue at the Metro station, commuters can start a conversation with Nama Metro bot in WhatsApp, selecting the departure and destination stations, complete payments, and get the ticket delivered instantly without leaving WhatsApp. Nama Metro measured the performance across six months and reported that payments on WhatsApp outperformed its app and website by 66% of usage growth with an amazing 90% of payment success rate. In a very different business segment, insurance, Tata AA has also achieved success by adopting WhatsApp payments for their insurance premium collection. In the initial three months, they were able to remind more than 3,000 customers to renew their policies within WhatsApp, which are worth 1 million USD GMV. Compared to Metro tickets, 
Insurance has a much higher average ticket size and a very different user journey to collect payments. Our unified checkout user journey has shown its flexibility to diverse types of merchants to optimize for payment success and conversion. As shared earlier, our payment module is pretty flexible to plug and play in different upper funnel user experiences with wide choices of messaging templates available in WhatsApp. Like you can see in the step shown here, the user journey could start from a marketing message with a media card carousel template, where the customer can browse the product offered by the merchant and proceed to checkout with one click. For repeating users, they can select the contact and address saved with WhatsApp and finish payment to place the order without entering every piece of info again. In the past year, to unlock more merchant categories with different requirements and flexibility needed, we have been developing support for different payment features based on the feedback collected from the market. With preferred payment methods, merchants can enable UPI or HPP payment experience on per order basis for better conversion and lower fee rate. They can also display their preferred UPI TPAP on the top for easier discovery. We also support flexible fee bearing model where merchants can pass convenience fee to consumers based on payment mode for lower margin services. For BFSI merchants like Mutual Fund, we also support third-party verification compliant to AML regulatory requirements from RBI. For commerce merchants, we also allow merchants to target customers to apply coupon to checkout based on phone number. Until today, the unified merchant checkout experience in WhatsApp has been integrated with top payment gateway partners and WhatsApp business service providers in India. I'd like to leverage on this opportunity to say a big thank you to our partners in different parts of the ecosystem. We will not achieve success today in such a broad merchant spectrum without your consistent support and investment in building the payment capabilities, developing the business use cases, and growing adoption among your merchants. With this existing product we've been operated and scaled in the Indian market, we also collected different learnings and skill challenges from our merchants and partners. Today, I'd like to introduce the latest flavor of our payment offering, which requires much less integration efforts across ecosystem uh, and allows much faster time to market, which is called Enhanced Payment Link. For merchants sending payment links in WhatsApp, we are unlocking the same seamless checkout experience but no longer require merchants to change their existing payment setup or building complex integrations. I will quickly show you how simple it is to enable it for your bot in WhatsApp API. Allow me to first go back to the problem to solve. Even with the checkout we've provided, there's still a large number of merchants still collecting payment by sending payment links in plain text to their customers in WhatsApp, since it is simple and flexible. However, there are several obvious drawbacks they have to live with. The first problem is trust. By looking at the URL, it is not obvious for the consumer to tell if it is from a legit merchant. They won't be even know if it is the right amount to pay until they click the link to open in Bellevue. In fact, sending a link is probably the most widely used tactic by scammers and fraudsters. Many consumers may drop off directly if they are not sure where the link will bring them to. The second problem is the poor experience. Even if the consumer is brave enough to open the payment link, it will typically be redirected to an external browser to open. It will also require multiple redirects and app switches if the user would like to pay with their preferred UPI app. After that, the user also needs to go back to WhatsApp manually to share the screenshot of the successful payment. To tackle these problems while not requiring major changes to merchant existing messaging and payment integrations, we are building this new solution with a very different philosophy. First, we would like to ensure the merchant can reuse their existing approach to generate payment link via Payment Gateway API or manually on Dashboard. Second, there's no longer any payment configuration creation nor payment account linking in WhatsApp required from merchant, which was one of the former operational challenge during the onboarding. Lastly, on the messaging layer, the merchant will only need a simple template to send payment link. Second, there's no longer any payment configuration creation nor account linking in WhatsApp required from the merchant, which was one of the former operational challenge during onboarding. Lastly, on the messaging layer, the merchant will only need a simple template to send the payment link. The rest will be taken care of by our integration with payment gateways. With the payment link recognized from the trusted payment gateways, we will try to retrieve the information critical for customer trust from the payment gateway and render this richer context in the payment bubble. 
In the UI sample on the right, the consumer can confirm the amount requested on the top of the bubble. The payment method enabled by the merchant will also be shown for the consumer to identify their preferred payment methods uh, even before open the checkout. Once consumer confirmed it is the right merchant and amount to pay, they can click the Pay Now button and complete the payment with the same and unified checkout without leaving WhatsApp. They can finish payment directly with their preferred UPI apps. If they prefer card, net banking, or wallet, it could also open within the in-app browser without switching to another browser app. Now I will show you how simple it is to make it happen. With just a simple API template where you don't even need to change much from your existing plain text message. There are also two fields here which you can fill in by simply split the original message. You can still have the payment instruction message here in this message body field, fully flexible as your original message. The only new step needed is to embed the payment link URL to the button block, where the text on the Pay Now button can even be customized to trigger checkout more efficiently as you wish. As simple as you can see here. You may notice there's no amount, there's no merchant name. All the metadata about the payment context is retrieved from our payment partner with trusted backend integration. By sending this simple message to the customer, all the magic will just happen. As the animation shown on the right, the customer can check out with their preferred methods with the same unified experience within WhatsApp. Today, the feature has been available on WhatsApp business platform with PayU, ReaderPay, and open for pilot testing for merchants who are using payment links from these PGs. In parallel, we are working with more payment gateway partners in India to unlock the same. You will probably see your preferred payment gateway supported when we meet next time. Thanks for joining our session today. If you're interested in getting payment enabled for your WhatsApp bot, please refer to the API specifications for both cloud API and on-premise setup available on our developer portal.